So, how about a purge? What do you think? It's been a minute, so I've got some pretty higher end stuff in here, and then one or two budget lines in here, but mostly we've got some higher end stuff. So let's start up here in this left corner. So this is a Caviso uh, collaboration, I, you know, with uh, Ray Laconico, Caviso Lean, Caviso Laconico Keen. So full titanium, titanium backspacer. Uh, it's got a great ramp in and out. Excellent, beautiful S35 VM blade. And uh, I've got this thing tuned up pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. And then you can see the Ray Laconico on the, on the backspacer there. I am listing this as a used knife. So this purple uh, anodizing on here, there are some snail trails on here the knife's never been carried but just being handled and you know i don't know moving around on a bench or whatever um it's it's got some snail trails and i think if you look close in the imagery here you can see it in the video but there's no wear on the pocket clip there's no wear on the front of the knife here it's never i don't think it's ever been in a pocket other than to when videoed uh, to run this pocket clip, but yeah, that's a, that's a, it's a beautiful piece. And so a little different with the purge. So the same time that this video is going to drop, I am also going to list these on eBay. So they're going to run concurrently just because ultimately here's all I'm trying to do, I'm trying to free up cash so I can bring in inventory and keep uh product on the channel so I can do daily content. That's it. I'm not, I'm not trying to make money or do any of that. Now, does that mean I'm giving everything away? No, I'm not, I'm not saying that. Um, but at the same time, I, this isn't a money making venture. I'm just being clear about that. Um, if, if I sell this knife, then I have that money to purchase new inventory. So I have a bankroll. I've invested into the channel basically in the first year. I'm trying to have that bankroll continue the channel forward is what I'm trying to do. So with that said, everything's going to go on eBay basically the same time that it's going to drop on the channel, but I'm dropping it to the channel at a cheaper price. Uh, because there's fees associated with eBay, stuff like that. And I'd much rather sell it to y'all on the channel than sell it to eBay. But I don't have anything wrong with the people that buy from me on eBay uh, and I've said this before, I buy a lot of material on eBay, so, <coughs> <coughs> pardon me, um, but I'm going to give you both prices so you know what's up. So on this Caviso, uh, for the channel, I'm asking $130. Now on the, on the shipping, you can always donate that. It's, I, I'm guessing it's, uh, five to $7 for the shipping. I pretty much... If you're going to donate shipping, I say donate seven bucks. That covers whatever I've got to pay uh, to get it shipped off to you. So if you donate it, it'd be 137 If you don't donate and you pay the 130 that I'm asking for it, I'm still going to put it in a box and ship it to you. I'll just, I'll pay the $7 freight and send it to you. Um, but I do provide the opportunity. Hey, if you want to donate the seven bucks, it definitely helps the channel if you'll pay for the freight. So one thirty uh to the channel and one forty five is where I'm gonna list it on eBay and that is not gonna include uh shipping. So uh the way that shipping works on eBay is depending on where the buyer is, is how much they pay for shipping. And that discounted shipping through eBay is gonna run them four to seven dollars roughly for this knife. So about the same price for shipping as, as what I pay. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to get, you know, down to $4 and 95 cents. I just say, Hey, if you can donate seven bucks for shipping and to be honest, if you said, Hey, I'll donate $4 for shipping, it would help. You see what I'm saying? Um, but this one will go on eBay. So that's all that shipping stuff. I'm not going to mention that no more. So if you heard it, great. If you didn't, when we get over here and you don't hear it, I, I mean, I'll ship it with no freight. I don't really, I'm not going to get into that, but 145 is going to go on eBay 
and I'm asking 130 on the channel. So it's 15 bucks cheaper on the channel. Uh, next, I've got this Artisan uh, Ahab. Look at this thing. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, G10 scales. This, you know, one of the unique things about this knife is how thin it is. Really thin. But this harpoon blade, nice, solid, big, thick, super slicey, really sticky blade. It's in AR RPM 9 steel. Uh, it's got a milled titanium pocket clip. Good spring, easy in and out of the pocket, and pretty, pretty good action. It's got this crown thumb stud that you can thumb flick and you can spidey flick. Yeah. So the Artisan Ahab, and I'm asking $40 on eBay for it and uh, $30 on the channel. So if you, if you buy it, yeah, if you buy it on the channel, it's, I'm sorry, I'm asking $35 on the channel and $40 on eBay. I believe they're running, what I see that they're running for is like 55 to $60 with free shipping. So I don't want to give free shipping. I just rather have the shipping included. So I'm asking $40 on eBay and and $35 on the channel. Um, next. Okay, next. I've got this nightshade. So the interesting thing about this nightshade is it was gray and then like had a cream color collar and I dyed it purple and it turned out amazing. I mean, look at the, the pattern that that showed up in their purple. So this thing, I mean, wonderful. Uh, this has got 154 CM steel in it. And I'm not even sure if you can get, I think they, their Nitro V is what they're out in now. So uh, what I'm, it's got amazing action. And if you've never held one of these, I mean, it's easy to look at this knife and go, yeah, that's not for me. But I can tell you, once you put it in hand, it kind of transforms. I mean, this thing, this uh, this nightshade's something else. It's pretty cool. And look at the action on this thing. It's wonderful. It's got a crown spine, 154 CM G10, and I dyed it a really cool purple. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, I'm asking. What am I asking for this? I'm asking. $60 on eBay, and I'm asking $50 on the channel. Yep, only 50 bucks for that. It's a pretty good deal. Um, I am going to go back to this one real quick. I don't think I covered this too well. It's got, it's got really good action, nice lockup, excellent ergonomics. And uh, a super sticky S35VN blade with a needle sharp point. What a cool blade. And it's a confident grip. This uh, finger choil locks the hand in there. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, so I got that one, that one, that one. Let's go to the top here. This is a Kaiser Noble. And uh, full titanium S35VN. And it's got this reverse tanto. Yeah, Kaiser Noble. And I'm trying to think. I don't... Yeah, there it is. The S35VNs down here. So, excellent in hand. This thing is, is really refined. It feels wonderful in hand. And I, I mean, I'm going to say that it's like an executive knife. Look at the action on this thing. Very snappy, super smooth, centered blade, full titanium, S35VN. Mm -hmm. It's got a little choke up that you can get to and sticky, Ooh, nice and sharp, factory edge. It's a new knife, never been carried, uh, but... 
of course, all these knives, I sell them as used just because I, I take them out of the box. I play with them. I clean them up. I do all that. So I'm not going to sell them as new because somebody might find a little scratch or something on it and go, well, you said it was new. I, so I, I'm not going to get off into that. So I sell them all as used. So if you find a scratch, don't be surprised. Um, like the little snail trails on this uh, little Conoco Keen. I, it's never been carried, but it's got some little snail trails just from handling it. You tell me, man. Um, but this Noble, I mean, what a cool executive knife. It's wonderful. It's got this milling in the pocket clip. It's got a great pocket clip. It's good ramped. Very cool knife. And so on eBay, I'll be asking 135 for this. And on the channel, I'm asking 120 Um next yeah so fifteen dollars cheaper if you buy it on the channel next we've got a wee kite fin look at this thing it's got this flame anode pocket clip on it um with like i don't know what is it like bronze hardware and then bronze in these holes pretty cool man full titanium and I believe this is S35VN. It's got great jimping on the flipper tab. I mean, it's got good action. It's not drop shut, but it's, it's a very stout knife. Hollow grind blade. I believe it's S35VN. Oh, I'm so blind. Yeah, S35VN. Look at this thing. The ergonomics on it, wonderful. Needle sharp point. This is another really nice executive knife. If you look at them, they're about the same size. Little different configuration. This one may be a little more intimidating, um, but just as confident in the grip. This one has a little better choke up spot. Yeah, really refined, wee quality. Like I say, it's got hydraulic action. Not necessarily drop shut, but it's very smooth. And of course, like any of these, man, if you carried them every day, you'd, you know, you'll get the timing down and how everything works. I mean, just running it a few times here, I've, I've become more acclimated to it. You know, it's like when you first pick it up, it's like, hmm. Pocket clip works really well. Deep carry. Yeah. So this Wee Knife Kite Fin, I'm asking on eBay $150. On the channel, I'm asking $135. $135 on the channel. Look, it's got jimping here on the frame for the frame lock. Helps you lock in, helps you unlock. Yeah, pretty cool. That's a really nice knife. Smaller, you know, it's going to be a small to a medium knife. Um, and I believe last but not least, we've got the Cancept Pelican. Full titanium, and I believe S35VN on this knife as well. Let's see if we can see where it says it. Mm, yeah, it's right there. Let's get that blade out. Yeah, S35VN. Oh, upside down. Come on, man. There it is. Cancept. It is a Camaxrom design. Cancept Pelican. Yeah. And so, just, I mean... Black stone washed, black treated blade, this amazing combat jimping on the back. I mean, this thing, it's cool. Cancept Pelican. Basically, drop shut action, very smooth. Mm hmm. Spidey flick. Again, I'm once I 
I run it a few times, I can get a little more acclimated to a, a knife. Yeah, very easy to spidey flick. Good thumb flick. I mean, really stout action coming out with a thumb flick. Spidey flick just couldn't be any smoother. More wonderful. Yeah, very cool. Good pocket clip. Excellent ramp on the back and the front. Yeah. Cancep Pelican. All right. Full titanium S35VN. Factory new, out of the box, never carried. I'm asking 150 for it on eBay and on the channel it'll be 135 as well. Yeah, so then I have a surprise. I I've got one more. I realized how high end most of this was except for this uh Ahab um and so I thought, man, I'm going to add one more knife. So I've got a brand new Ontario Rat 1 right here. Never carried, the pocket clips unmarred, G10 with Aus 8 steel. Yep. No box. I do not have a box for this knife. So I'll put it in a nice soft case and package it well. But it's got a good spidey flick. It's got a great thumb flick, and this is a formidable piece. It is a big knife. Ontario Rat 1. So if you ever wanted to get one, here's your chance. This is kind of, you know, I said this a while back, and good grief. I, I don't know what I said or if I ate bad pizza that night or whatever, but I'd made a, I'd made a video, and somewhere in the video I said I compared the knife to a, to a, a bench made bug out. <laughs> and somehow I, uh, I made mention, you know, tongue in cheek that a bug out was one of those knives that, you know, if you're a serious knife collector, you got to own a bug out. <laughs> and, and I think it's pretty well known. I don't know. I guess I just made the assumption that everybody would get my tongue in cheek humor that I don't follow any of those norms. I could care less what, you know, legit collectors feel like they got to have. But, but I made mention about, you know, bug outs and the elementum that they are everyman knives and that you got to own one. And man, I mean, a couple of people, I mean, they got triggered <laughs> and not happy, man. They said that, uh, I was a knife snob. I, maybe I am. I'm a closet snob. I just don't know it. But <laughs> with that said, here we go, man. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start it again because this is another one. If you're a serious knife collector, you gotta have a rat one. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so stupid, man. Don't tempt me. That's what, honestly. That's why I don't allow it on the channel. Cause I mean, I mean, get me started. I mean, I. I, I am a road scholar when it comes to being nasty. I'm just telling you. I mean, it may not seem like it because I've, I've made a conscious effort to say, I, you know, I, I don't want that here. Like, you know, there's plenty of places where you can troll and, you know, say mean things. I mean, honestly, the one guy uh, told me he'd been watching for a long time and then told me to kiss his rear. Because of that video, <laughs> it's like, golly, man. And, you know, the, the reason I don't allow it is because, I, you know, man, I'll engage that. And, I, I mean, I can take it to the depths of depravity and not hesitate. And eh, who's got time for all that, man? I don't have time. So, you know, if, if that's what you want to bring, man, I'm not interested. Um. I, you know, I am totally okay with saying, Hey man, it seems like, you know, you're kind of being a snob, you know, like question it, challenge me on it. But you know, when you tell me to kiss your, kiss your rear, it's like, nah, I'm not interested in all that, bro. You just got to go. But anyways, 
this this rat one it's one of those man i mean a lot of people collect them and it's it's a budget knife but it has been raved on as being such a solid, you know, budget knife that if you're going to have budget knives, this is one you should get. It's a great work knife. I can tell you that this knife's never been carried. It's a brand new knife. And so what am I asking for this knife? Where am I going to put it? Uh, how about over here? I'm going to set it right there. It's over on the side. It's not less important. But listen, I'm not going to list this one on eBay. I'll just let it go to the channel. Uh, 30 bucks. $30 for an Ontario Rat 1 in Aus 8, the Model 1. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, I don't have the box for it. Or if I do, I don't know where it's at. I'm not going to go digging for it. Um, but if you want that, I'll sell it for 30 bucks. So anyways, there's the purge list, y'all. Hey, I appreciate you watching. If you're interested in any of these, email me. It's the only place that I will take an offer. I'm not going to take it in the comments. If you comment and say, Hey, I want that. You just figure it that you never made the comment because I am not going to engage comments on the channel because there's no way for me to measure which comments came first because they, they fall in different places and there's just no way for me to manage it. So the only place I'll take offers on any of these is through email. So discerning man, Oh, one, discerningman01 at gmail.com. If you're interested in any of this, send me an email. First email for this knife is going to be the one that I'm going to work first. If you're the second email, um, I'll hit you up and say, hey, I've got somebody else working it. If they don't buy it, I'll come to you next, that kind of thing. Um, but it's first come, first serve. And then, of course, if it sells on eBay, I'm going to sell it over on eBay. So if you're interested... I'd say don't hesitate, you know, reach out to me in an email and, uh, you know, make me an offer. Let's move this stuff to, to y'all on the channel. I'd much rather do that. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching and, uh, take care.